A Public Dinner, by Thomas Hood. Sit down and fall to, said the barmecide. Arabian Nights, at seven you just nick it, give card, get wine ticket. Walk round through the babble, from table to table, to find, a hard matter. Your name in a platter. Your wish was to sit by your friend Mr. Whitby, but steward's assistance has placed you at distance, and, thanks to arrangers, you sit amongst strangers, but too late for mending. Twelve sticks come attending a stick of a chairman, a little dark spare man, with bald, shining knob, mid-committee swell mob. In short, a short figure, you thought the duke bigger. Then silence is wanted, non nobis is chanted. Then chairman reads letter, the duke's a regretter, a promise to break it, but chair, he can't take it, is grieved to be from us, but sends friend Sir Thomas, and what is far better, a check in the letter. Here, here, and a clatter, and there ends the matter. Now soups come and fish in, and C brings a dish in. Then rages the battle, knives clatter, forks rattle, steel forks with black handles, under fifty wax candles. Your soup plate is soon full, you sipped just a spoonful. Mr. Rowe will be grateful to send him a plateful. And then comes the waiter, must trouble for tater, and then you drink wine off with somebody, nine. Off. Bacella's made handy, with cape and bad brandy, of East India sherry, that's very hot, very. You help Mr. Myrtle, then find your mock turtle went off while you lingered, with waiter light fingered. To make up for gammon, you order some salmon, which comes to your fosses, with boats without sauces. You then make a cut on some lamb big as mutton, and ask for some grass too, but that you must pass too. It served the first twenty, but toast there is plenty. Then, while lamb gets coldish, a goose that is oldish, at carving not clever, you're begged to dissever, and when you thus treat it, find no one will eat it. So, hungry as glutton, you turn to your mutton, but, no sight for laughter, the soup it's gone after. Mr. Green then is very disposed to take sherry, and then Mr. Nappy will feel very happy, and then Mr. Connor requests the same honor, Mr. Clark, when at leisure, will really feel pleasure, then waiter leans over to take off a cover from fowls, which all beg of, a wing or a leg of, and while they all peck bone, you take to a neck bone, but even your hunger declares for a younger. A fresh plate you call for, but vainly you bawl for. Now taste disapproves it, no waiter removes it. Still hope, newly budding, relies on a pudding, but critics each. Minute set fancy again it, that's queer vermicelli. I say, visitelli, there's glue in that jelly. Tart's bad altogether, that crust's made of leather. Some custard, friend Vessie? No. Batter made easy. Some cheese, Mr. Foster? Don't like single Gloucester. Meanwhile, to top table, like fox in the fable, you see silver dishes, with those little fishes, the white bait delicious, born past you officious, and hear rather plainish a sound that's champagnish, and glimpse certain bottles made long in the throttles, and sniff, very pleasant. Grouse, partridge, and pheasant, and see mounds of ices for patrons in vices, pine apple, and bunches of grapes for sweet munches, and fruits of all virtue that really desert you. You've nuts but not crack ones, half empty and black ones, with oranges, sallow, they can't be called yellow, some pippins well wrinkled, and plums almond sprinkled, some rout cakes, and so on, then with business. To go on. Long speeches are stuttered, and toasts are well buttered, while dames in the gallery, all dressed in fall allery, look on at the mummery, and listen to flummery. Hip, hip, and huzzing, and singing and saying, glees, catches, orations, and lists of donations, hush. A song, Mr. Tinney, Mr. Benbow, one, guinea, Mr. Frederick Manuel, one guinea, an annual, song, jockey and jenny, Mr. Markham, one guinea, have you all filled your glasses? Here's a health to good lasses. The subscription's still skinny, Mr. Franklin. One guinea. Franklin looks like a ninny. Mr. Borum. One guinea. 
Mr. Blog, Mr. Finney, Mr. Tempest, One Guinea, Mr. Merrington, Twenty, Rough Music, In Plenty, Away Toddles Chairman, The Little Dark Spare Man, Not Sorry at Ending, With White Sticks Attending, And Some Vain Tomnoddy Votes in His Own Body to Fill the Void Seat Up, And Get on His Feet Up, To Say, With Voice Squeaking, Unaccustomed to Speaking, Which Sends You Off Seeking Your Hat, Number 30, No Coach, Very Dirty, So Hungry and Fevered Wet Footed, Spoilt beavered, eyes aching in socket, ten pounds out of pocket, to Brook Street the upper you haste home to supper.